Hello adventurers, we're back with a new book of lore and we've missed you. It's been a while since we updated you on our progress and the team here at Iron Oak Games have been hard at work building and finalizing the game. We're really close to bringing you For the King 2 in all its glory and we can't wait for you to play. Meanwhile, you have all been curious to learn more about weapons and loadouts and today we're delighted to share more details on this topic. So let's dig in. First, let's talk loadouts. In For the King 2, we've added loadouts to give you more options to customize and personalize your preferred playstyle. Not only will this add depth to your solo campaign, but it can also spark strategic discussions in your multiplayer sessions. Optimize each class in your party and their synergy with each other. After all, success is best when it's shared. Each adventure you embark on will start with a set amount of points to use in your loadout. The more difficult the level, the fewer loadout points to spend, and so, the more challenging the campaign. You need to choose wisely to ensure everyone gets an optimal loadout. No pressure. When picking your loadout, you can choose from a selection of improved starting weapons, different armor, and also essential items such as God's Beard. You'll also select a trait for your character to adopt for the duration of your playthrough. Now, the neat thing about traits is that some align perfectly with specific classes and can provide a significant boost to character stats and capabilities increasing your odds of a successful adventure. In For the King 2, items such as Panax and God's Beard have rank unlocks. The higher your rank for these items, the more you can choose to include in your starting loadout. And you know that will come in handy. And that's not all. In addition to this, you can also unlock the full range of character traits by playing through the campaign, which in turn will unleash the full potential of your classes. During your playthrough, weapons and attire will have the biggest impact on your character stats. So, success or failure in your adventure will be greatly influenced by the choices you make during the loadout phase. So now, let's talk weapons. The really fun stuff. Aside from leveling up character stats, weapons can also grant you specific skills that can be used in combat. As you'd expect, weapons will be made from a variety of materials, which will affect their range and performance. Obsidian Fire Sword, anyone? In order to ensure you have the correct equipment for the road ahead, you can compare the stats of weapons in your inventory and make tactical decisions for your approach. Also, during a combat encounter, you can now change your weapon before you attack, so make sure you carry weapons with a variety of damage types and skill buffs. This will make your characters more successful against the broad variety of enemies you will be facing. You never know when an ambush might happen. And don't forget there's no iron team. You have the option during an adventure to share weapons and attire with your fellow adventurers. If you think that the legendary staff you've just picked up would be better suited in the hands of a skilled scholar or alchemist rather than your beefy blacksmith, then make sure you pass it to them during the looting phase, or wander over to them in the overworld and share it at the earliest opportunity. So, we've talked a bit about weapons and attire, and we've established that they can be very crucial to your journey in For the King 2. But, how can you find them? Well, there are many ways to get your hands on new items outside of the lore store and loadouts. Completing combat encounters and looting enemies will be the most common way to find new gear, as well as opening up enticing chests that you'll stumble across in the overworld, in combat and in dungeons. But beware of the mimic. You can also choose to take on side quests, which, if successfully completed, can provide rare weapons to give your party a significant boost to their stats. You can see which rewards are available when selecting quests on the quest board. So. From a hobgoblin axe to a flaming stool or bone-crushing troll club, every sword, mace, shield and staff you wield will change the way you play and how you can tackle new enemies and bosses. Maybe there's a little hint of our next book of lore there. But remember, even with many brutal weapons at your disposal to defeat your foes, there are just as many very, very dumb ways to die. So adventurers, we hope we've answered some, if not all, of your questions on weapons and loadouts. Both of these aspects will play a crucial role in your adventures, whether you decide to travel alone or in a group. Making decisions and sharing the resources at hand will ensure you reap the rewards. If you haven't already, don't forget to add For the King 2 to your Steam wishlist. And make sure to leave any comments, questions and content wishes you have in the Discord channel linked below. Thank you all for watching and we hope to see you at our next Book of Lore. It's going to be a monstrous one. See you soon, adventurers.